Hey guys, Mr. Miyagi style. Guess what came out tonight? Like I said in my video that I did today, it got launched tonight instead of uh, tomorrow. The new firmware 1.0.51 for the Ace Pro just got updated. I updated mine and amazing. This is a major, major upgrade, guys. A couple things I'm going to go off here. Uh, I'm going to try is first things first. Everybody's been asking for this. Uh, two things that people have been asking for and Insta360 has been answering uh users better than dji better than gopro gopro has been a joke with their firmware upgrades um you know once a year maybe once every six months we've had what this is the fifth firmware upgrade for and they just keep making this camera better and better okay everybody everybody's been asking for this the dji mic 2 it's working again so now before you could connect uh, uh and work and then when you change the firmware you, you could connect but you couldn't there was no sound when you record so now it's back and it's done through the uh, the Bluetooth mic uh, here and it connects perfectly fine, no problems at all. I tested it out, sounds great. Um, so it's 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 working again. Everybody's been kind of going crazy with this and say, oh, it's automatically connected my, uh, my DJI mic too. And it's working just fine, guys. So that's fixed. The other one, everybody's been asking for this. The battery indicator, when you press on it, it now tells you a percentage on the battery indicator as you can see on the uh, on the uh, camera here so they've changed that as well you also notice an extra icon the low light uh, stabilizer you can now turn it on and off on the screen during recording or before you start recording so I'm gonna start recording you see that icon there I can actually turn low light stabilization on I can turn low light stabilization uh, stabilization off this is amazing before you had to swipe though and then turn off it would automatically shut off and on so now you've got it right on the screen itself working. Now they've they've uh, I haven't tested a couple things which I can right now because they've improved apparently they've improved the algorithm from underwater. I just got back from Dominican Republic and wish they had this and I had that chance to test out. I'm going on another dive trip in July, so I won't actually get a chance to test it out until then. Um, that's a big thing. The other thing too, they have also changed. Let me shut this off. If you go to burst, oh, it's just saving here. If you go to the burst photo mode uh it now has clarity zoom so this is the burst photo mode let me just switch it back to d warp right burst photo mode just takes a bunch of photos at a time uh you can actually adjust it 12 megapixel you know in, in in off timer burst that kind of thing now you can actually zoom in on burst photo mode <laughs> so clarity zoom is now operational for for burst photo. so think about this guys there's a lot of things that are changing and they're using clarity zoom which is using the 8k sensor now I'm not. I'm still waiting, and I, I put in a request. I would love to see them in the video mode to drop 8K into 30 uh, uh, frames, which I think they can do. And the reason why is because the X4 that just came out is actually using the same five nanometer AI chip, and it can go 8K 30 frames per second. There's no reason why this can't, right? It's using the same chip. So let's hope, cross your fingers, that they are they're able to change this in the, in the next or a couple of firmware upgrades to go AK30. AK30 on this would make this the best action camera out in the market right now. X4 is different. It's an action camera, but it's also a 3D camera. It's bigger. But to be able to put this in 8K30 uh, frames, this would be awesome. What else did they change in this, guys? Um, they've uh, Oh, the other thing, too. There were some people. Uh, there's a guy in in that that roams around. He's a he's a GoPro fanboy running around saying, "Oh, it doesn't have horizontal lock. It doesn't have true horizontal lock. GoPro has the best horizontal lock." Guess what they put in? They have actually put in in camera horizontal lock in 45 degree, 360 degree. Now we have true horizontal lock on this camera. Uh, like even DJI doesn't have this. The A4. So now this is the exact the same as the gopro in terms of a horizontal lock and it does 45 degrees as well as 360 degrees so the person who was going around chirping about this not having horizontal lock, it's not a real action camera well they just put horizontal lock on this and it's not via software like it was before through uh free video you can actually do it in the camera now uh just by changing this to 360 in the video mode okay uh i'm not sure what modes it can change this. let me see if i can change this into 60 frames uh so only 30 frames and 4k and horizontal lock uh right now 
but I suspect that will probably change in the future as well. Uh, let me just change it to 8K. Nope, 8K is the same. Let me see what's the maximum on this. Uh, 120. I don't, don't do 120. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so 4K 30 HDR, you can now do, can you do 48 frames? No, so only maximum is a th 4K 30 frames uh, with a true horizontal 360 degree lock and a 45 degree horizontal lock. So nice that they changed that and added that in because I think people were asking for that because the horizontal lock was kind of weird in this. It was in, you had to use free video and you had to do it in a software. You can still do it, but now you can actually get 4K 30 in a, in a true 360 horizontal lock on this uh, new firmware update. So this is the new 1.0.0. Five, one. This was supposed to be released last month. The reason why I got the reason why is because when um, they were supposed to launch this last month, this firmware, this particular firmware, and they made the changes that I suspected they were going to do, um, they delayed it because of the X4 launch, because they were concentrating on the X4, which was a phenomenal launch and, and a phenomenal camera, 360 camera. Uh, I think that thing is the way of the future. I'm hoping to get my hands on one and then so I can do a review on that. So. Just so uh, you guys know, uh, they've actually uh, created better gesture, they've improved the gesture control for underwater, as well as just uh, out of the water. Um, they've improved the algorithm for better image um, quality and true to life colors for underwater as well, which I can't test, unfortunately. I hope somebody can do a test on this with this new firmware and see, like the underwater algorithm is already pretty good. I, I like to see what they did to it to make it even better. Uh, other than that, guys, uh, they've actually also the last last but not least they've also improved the uh, the wind noise I, I think some people are uh, complaining. I don't really like the wind noise um, um, Feature in this I don't think it really does anything, but uh, Let's see if they've improved it and if anybody will I'll do a test tomorrow and see if it's if it's improved um, But that's one of the things that they uh, updated in the firmware. So guys just so you know you heard it here first 1.0.51 is out in, in Canada anyways. I'm not sure about anywhere else. Sometimes other countries are delayed or a little bit slower. But get it. Awesome. Great changes. This is a major, major firmware update. And they've added a lot of things. Yes, guys. DJI Mic 2 is now working again. Ciao. Have a good one. Respect.